Hello and welcome to New York Crypto Talk. Thanks for joining me for Friday's Neo News and the update of the state of the crypto market. Today is June 8th and my oh my has there been a lot of news this week, both from Neo and the Neo projects alike. First, I'm going to go into the Neo updates because Neo actually did a May report of what happened previously and what is going on in the future for NEO projects. Some of the highlights I've already mentioned in the past, but I will review them or recap them. Uh, Tahang Fei visited the European Parliament and participated in the forum. NEO and Ontology signed a memorandum of cooperation in technology strategy and established a joint networking group. NEO VM is an important foundation in the cooperation. NEO Global Development participated in a blockchain summit in South America, and the NEO Globalization continues to widen. NEO Global Development R&D releases the Q2 to Q4 roadmap for major updates to expect during 2018. That is my main focus for today's update, and then also just a summary of market activities and development progress for May. So I am going to focus in, because I have talked about the ontology, the summit, the main focus is the new updated roadmap for NEO. So I thought this was really interesting and it's fantastic to see a major platform, the likes of Ethereum, announcing a roadmap of their future updates and development statuses. So we have Q2, we have the NEO QS research update. Q2 to Q3, we have NEO FS research update. Q3, we have the NEO Global Development and the City of Zion joint development sprints as well as the NEP8 stack isolation for NEO VM. Then there's the NEP9 URI scheme. Q4 is the NEO X initial test. This is going to be a major milestone for the platform. This is the side chain for NEO, and this is what they're going to be using for a scaling platform. And the NEP10 composite smart contracts. A lot of things in store for the NEO project in the next couple of months into 2018. So a lot of new news will be coming out from the NEO project and the NEO team. Ontology had a lot of updates this week. They had a strategic partnership with a blockchain-based credit data exchange and financial service. That company's name is Points. Basically, the cooperation with Points is the first step for Ontology to penetrate the credit evaluation and financial service vertically. They're going to be leveraging what Points is already using in the credit industry and the financial industry to be able to integrate with Ontology what they're looking to do for their trust network. So Ontology launches a ecosystem accelerator program. So Ontology Olympus Accelerated OOA. Think of this, the likes of Dragon Chain, how they are basically an incubator for projects. Basically, Ontology is going way above that and is building a platform that is going to be used to build comprehensive ecosystems among public chains through this accelerated program. And this includes things from technology to the business side, to the communication side, to the market incubation, the capital incubation, the talent incubation, and legal services. So they are almost doing everything possible that you would need in order to get up and running as a project. So Ontology's incubator, basically this is going to rocket launch projects into the ontology realm so that anybody who wants to be on their trust network they will be working on this accelerator program to be able to fit their specific needs for their platform for projects and that will include two important organizations within the group the ontology advisors group and the ontology global capital so these are the other two announcements for this week they actually announced that they are having an advisor group specific for ontology if you guys are not familiar this is going to be replicating almost identical to what neo has they do have an advisor group that actually works with the project to be able to build these platforms 
and they are also launching a global capital. So Ontology Global Capital, similar to Neo Global Capital, is going to be working on building a group of individuals who will manage the financial aspects of the project and accelerating all these different projects moving forward. So the Ontology team is going full force when it comes to making sure they have the groundworks to make all the future collaborations and strategies and all the platforms on their network are going to be top notch. Also Ontology has been having a lot of information about their Ontology mainnet tokens since it is going live at the end of June 2018 and the information on their medium page will tell you a little bit more information on how the swap is going to work. Binance has already announced that it's going to be supporting the mainnet swap for the Ontology tokens so just if you guys are holding Ontology tokens please be cautious, read the Medium page because a lot of information is needed in order to do these mainnet swaps. New Econo Labs, I've talked about in the past, they are building the Neo Dunn module, which is basically similar to a Ledger Nano S or a Trezor, and they have some updates on it. So hopefully, some more information will be available on when the Neo Dunn will be open to the public, at least for pre sales. So Neo Name Service also had partnered with Slowmist to maintain the security of the Neo Name smart contracts. Both parties will jointly conduct in-depth security testing and pinpoint hidden security risk before Neo Name Service goes live on the mainnet. They also are planning to do an airdrop for the NNC tokens to Neo holders. They will be doing a snapshot on June 27th for the Neo blockchain. So when that block is then mined on June 27th, you will get 0.1 NNC for every one NEO that you hold. This will only be available on NEO wallets as of right now. So the main NEO wallets like NEON, this will be available for. And this is similar to what I had talked about in the past with the 50 NEO name NNC tokens that were available if you did do testing on their test net for their service. So more information will come on the NNC token airdrop. Effect Force officially launches the private alpha in partnership with stock image giant Lobster Media. So if you guys have not seen my previous videos or my review on the Effect Force, I will have the video link right above now. They have now made their first partnership which has a huge amount of data that is needed for the Mechanical Turk platform that they are building. So they already have 4,000 registered workers that will gain access to over 20 million image classification tasks for payment. So basically they are going to have tons and tons of images to sort through and they're going to basically work on building, sorting, and labeling different types of images so that Lobster and other platforms alike will eventually have a much better classification system using the Mechanical Turk human intelligence task platform that Effect AI offers. Spotcoin, which I've gotten a couple of comments from, I need to do a deep dive into the project, but there was a pre-ICO that opened on June 6th. I know it's two days late, guys, but definitely check it out if you guys are actually interested in it, because I know some people were. It was only 1,250 places, so I'm not sure if they filled up. I'm sure they did, but definitely check this out on their Medium page. A partnership announcement with Guardian Circle. I have mentioned Guardian Circle in the past and I probably will be doing a deep dive into it. If you guys are not familiar, Guardian Circle is a decentralized emergency response network. You utilize an existing app which is already out there in many countries and you can build a network of individuals that will respond to you if you're ever in an accident or if there's an ever a major catastrophe that information will be stored on the application and then first responders can respond to your information as long as you're linked to other individuals. So Springroll is a company that I will be doing a review on and I am actually looking to see if I can get an interview with the company as well. They are similar to a decentralized LinkedIn, that's my closest interpretation of the project. It is a professional profile attestation on the blockchain for education providers, employers, and accrediting organizations, as well as AI-based skilled endorsement platform. So what they're going to do is partnership with Guardian Circle to provide actual 
real data for the Guardian Circle platform to utilize so that first responder information is correct and that information can then be tested so that ensuring that if there's an emergency that the people who are responding are the correct people. So Switchio had some big news this week that they will be looking to get the Ledger integration very shortly. They are just waiting for the, pos the repository of the Neo app to be updated and approved and merged. They are waiting for the approval for merging the new code into the Ledger HQ uh, repo for the Neo app. Once that's done, all the Switchio sites and all other Neo D apps will also be able to utilize the Ledger integration. Very excited to see that Ledger is going to integrate into the Switchio platform. I think any DEX should have integration. So now that they're building with the Neo, code on the ledger integration that's going to be a big step up that i believe they're going to be one of the the leaders when it comes to neo based dexes i know there's been some issues in the past but i am still a big fan of switchio trinity will be having an ama shortly once that information is available it will be on their twitter page so definitely check out their twitter page if you guys are not familiar, Cryptolina in North Carolina will be happening on June 15th. Bridge Protocol will actually be attending, so if you guys want to check it out, or if anybody's in the North Carolina area, definitely check out Bridge Protocol team. They will be there. I just recently did a review on Bridge Protocol this week. I will put the link above so you guys can view that. Another partnership for the Aphelion app is the Safeguard ICO. As I mentioned before, Aphelion has now become one of the leaders when it comes to wallets that allow for ICO registration, whitelisting, as well as purchasing the tokens. So if you guys are not familiar, definitely check it out. Aphelion is now going to be supporting the Safeguard ICO. Red Pulse will be having a live AMA on YouTube with the CEO Jonathan Ha on June 23rd. So this will be on YouTube. So definitely check that out or at least follow them and subscribe to them on YouTube to get notifications for when that comes out. Due to the overwhelming response for the Deep Brain Chain AI data mining modules, they will be having a wallet verification and ranking. And this information will be available so that depending on how many Deep Brain Chain you have, you'll have a higher priority in order to purchase your Deep Brain Chain AI mining units. So definitely check out their Medium page if you are one of the lucky people to put in a pre-order for one of their mining rigs. Apex has a sneak peek on their new wallet. So if you guys want to check it out, they do have some information. I did find this on a Medium page that was retweeted by their team. But there's some really cool information and it has to do with brand loyalty information. And one of the things is that you will be able to earn credits or cryptocurrency by using some of these sites from these brand loyalty sites which I thought is really interesting. Basically, you can see here the exchange reward. If you purchase things through their app, through the brand loyalty, you'll earn cryptocurrency as the exchange as a credit. And before I end, I will just take a quick peek at the coin market cap. I didn't do this for the past couple of weeks just because of the fact that it was a very bear market and things are just a little bit on the sad side. So the market cap is currently sitting at $338 billion. And we obviously have been seeing a little bit of an uptrend, uh, a little bit of a side trend in the past couple of days. If if we look at the seven-day forecast, we did actually get, give or take, to about $350 billion. But then we did drop down uh, back to the 330 that we've been sitting at for God knows how long. Obviously, this is the time where I think people should be accumulating, reinvesting, just looking at to what you have in your portfolio. Obviously, this is not financial advice, but we are currently sitting at a, a pretty good market cap, in my personal opinion. I think we're going to be seeing, hopefully, a little bit of an uptrend in the summer. I am a long-term holder, so really, this is, even though I'm red on a lot of projects, this is still something that I think is a long-term investment. Most of the projects I looked at are good tech, good information, and viable teams. So as long as you're looking at those projects and not looking at pump and dump schemes, which I don't believe any of the Neo projects are, you should be set. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification for more videos. I will be doing a live stream this evening if you guys want to check it out. It should be 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will be going over some projects as well as talking to some of the viewers, seeing what people want to talk about, and going over some crypto news and see where we are in the, the market. Thanks again for watching. Have a fantastic day.